The second generation Pixel stand is now available after pre-orders started shipping out to early buyers, so let's get it unboxed and give you a few early impressions as to whether it's worth its entry cost. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be notified about all our future uploads. Because there is no charger in the box for the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, plus no new Pixel stand since 2018, you might be looking at the second gen. It seems like a better value proposition, but what's in the box? Well, it's not exactly groundbreaking, but inside you'll get that rounded stand with the USB-C port at the back. I must admit it's quite heavy and that combines with the rubberized texture should hopefully mean that it is more stable on a table or flat surface. There's also inside the obligatory quick start guide with setup and troubleshooting information. A big bonus here is the inclusion of the very same 30 watt power brick that you can buy separately. It's literally no different from that standalone $35 power brick either as you can see they're both side by side here. Rounding out the in the box package is a 1.5 meter USB-C to USB-C cable for connecting everything up and getting things powered on. It's also worth noting as well that Google has reduced all of the non-recyclables so everything in the box is made from cardboard which means you should be able to recycle this if you don't want to keep that packaging. One thing I did notice right away is that on the bottom of the stand there is a small dimple which is designed specifically for the Pixel Buds from 2020 but unfortunately with no wireless charging it's not really much use for the Pixel Buds A series. This small crevice means that your wireless earbuds can charge without rolling over or falling off and no matter what type of device you do place on that kickstand be that a phone or even headphones a soft LED will blink to indicate that charging has started. With a phone placed on that little kickstand there is no wobble and it does seem like that even a bump to a desk or a surface itself shouldn't dislodge your phone from that little plinth but before you do go ahead and slap your new Pixel on this wireless charger it is important to ensure that if you have the Pixel 6 you have the latest December feature drop installed if you do want to access the fastest charging speeds which are 21 watts for the Pixel 6 and 23 watts for the Pixel 6 Pro. This is also going to be necessary for all of the initial onboarding process that lets you do things like add photo frames, add up to four smart home controls and then access your media controls on top. Once you've gone through that onboarding process just tap your pixels always on display and that launches this mini control center section which is where your media and smart home controls basically live while on this charger. Plus from here you can do things like adjust the Pixel Stand's fans and of course the fans are going to be a big bone of contention but they are here to help reduce heat generated from fast charging and there is a small little vent that vents that air upwards. There are a few options for you to choose from with the fans and the fan speed. There's the optimize option which just lets you adjust the fan speed based upon your usage and that will do that automatically. There's max which charges your pixel at the fastest speed be that 21 or 23 watts and with the fans at the highest volume. Quiet is the slowest charging rate but the fans are practically silent and I haven't really had time to truly work out the charge speeds and if they correspond but the fan volume might be a reason to leave the pixel stand in the optimized setting at least in my brief time with this. Hopefully this is not the most scientific sound test but it gives you some sort of indication of what to expect but it is worth noting that the fans are much quieter in real life than they are in this recording as I was barely able to detect that quiet mode. However the max setting is definitely noticeable and might not be ideal for your bedside with this setting enabled. A bigger overall question is if this accessory is worth an extra $79, £69 or €79 Euros on top of the entry price of your brand new Pixel 6 or 6 Pro or even just for an existing device. So far I have to say it seems like a big improvement and the mini Nest Hub capabilities such as photo frames and smart home controls are definitely enticing but we'll, we will have a full proper and extended testing review and testing period when we've kind of finalized our thoughts. We do want to know though if you have picked up the second gen Pixel stand and what your impressions of this new device are right out of the gate. Be sure to throw a comment down below but this was a super short video unboxing the latest device. As always though until next time this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.